Hey guys, it's Tilly and welcome back to my channel. So today I have filmed this look. It's the look that I wore to my graduation ball. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and if you want to find out how to get this look then watch on. Don't forget to leave a like and obviously subscribe if you want to see more and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. Right, so first thing I've just gone ahead and like pinned my hair back just to get it all out of my face. Because it's gonna be very hard. So. I've already gone ahead and moisturised my face with my normal moisturiser and now I'm just going to spray it with some MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. I suffer really badly from dry skin so using this is just like an extra layer of moisturisation. And it's also really refreshing. So I'm just going to let that sit into my skin. And to start priming my face I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. This is like a gel base rather than a cream. I just feel like gel bases make your makeup last more. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my foundation. The foundation I use is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. This is in the shade 303 True Nude. I'm normally like the shade 100 Ivory. But I've just been on holiday, even though it's not picked up on the camera, I do have a tan. So we've got to use a darker foundation to match that. Then in with a Zoeva 104 buffer. Once I've done that, I like to just go in with my very dirty beauty blender and just pat that into my skin because Sometimes when you use a brush, I feel like it comes out quite streaky. And obviously just using a beauty blender just pats it all in very evenly. So next I'm going on to concealer. Now I actually use two concealers, one's like as brightening and one for actually like concealing. So first thing I'm gonna go in with my collection oh yeah, my collection last and perfection concealer in the shade Cool Medium. I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes cause that is my troubled area. Luckily, I don't have like, I get a few spots every now and then, obviously, as everyone does, but I don't get loads, but my troubled area is dark circles. I cannot get away from them no matter how hard I try. Next, I'm going in with the Wake Me Up, the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer in the shade 10 ivory and this is just to brighten underneath my eyes so I'm just going to put some lines of it like that in a little almost as in like a triangle and just bring up my cheekbone as well and again I'm going in with my beauty blender to blend that all out next I'm going in with the NYX HD finishing powder in the translucent shade I'm just using this to set underneath my eyes and I'll use a different powder to set the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Sometimes I don't always powder just cause I do have dry skin, but seeing as it's prom, and it's gonna obviously be like a long night and it's gonna be warm, we've got to set it. So I'm using the MAC, what even is this? Mineralized foundation. So it's like a loose foundation powder I think this is in the shade medium. I'm just putting a little bit on a big brush. I'm just gonna dust it lightly over my face. Obviously I don't want too much. I'm gonna take it underneath my eyes to just swipe away that white cast from the translucent powder. I only normally use this powder if I need my makeup to stay on for longer and I'm I need a more full coverage look like if I'm going out. So now that's all set, I'm moving on to bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm using the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. So, who is that motorbike? Also, if you hear any building marks, I'm really sorry. There's a house being built opposite us, so literally all day, every day, there's noise, but what can you do? So anyway. Can we just appreciate, so firstly, my lids come off. And secondly, I don't know if you can see that, but this is honestly makes me so sad. It's so smashed. I'm taking a Real Techniques 
multitask face brush. I like that all the Real Techniques brushes are multitasking because, not being funny, but none actually uses brushes for what they're actually intended for. So I'm just dipping it in, I'm just going to bronze my face. Because, you know, I have been on holiday, but I don't know if it's just me, but does anyone else's faces not tan whilst they're on holiday? Because my, like, fair enough I put like a factor 50 on my face, just so it doesn't burn and I don't get any wrinkles. But it honestly just does not tan at all. I don't think I came back with the slightest tan on my face after holiday, so that's why we have makeup to make it look all bronzy. Even though you can't really tell the difference on camera, but in real life, I can assure you, there is a difference. Oh, I just put my hand down and it went inside my eyeshadow palette. <gasps> Put it on. Oh god, I need a wipe. <laughs> so to contour, I'm using the MAC bronzing powder. And honestly, it looks like there's nothing in there. I'm just taking this fan brush just to contour, just because I feel like it's thin enough to get right in the hollows of my cheeks. And also if you contour like just a little bit here and here, it gives you more of like a pointy chin because I'm lacking in my jawline. Now I'm going to be highlighting my face with the Becca highlighter in Moonstone. And to highlight I'm using this Zoeva Luxe Fan brush. I think it's the 129. Yeah. I'm honestly in love with this bronzer. Like I've hit the pan, it's so sad because I got it from New York. Obviously, I should be able to get it here though. But it's honestly so pretty. Now we're moving on to eyebrows, which honestly I absolutely dread every time I have to do them, but luckily I've just got them waxed. So we should be For eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and the Anastar Anast I don't know if it's Anastasia or Anastasia. Anast I feel like everyone says Anastasia, not Anastasia. Oh. That Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So these two are my favourites ever. I love them so much. Anyway, moving on. Firstly, I'm going in with this shade here and it's transition. I'm just going to put that in my crease, obviously. Oh my god, I'm getting pins and needles. <gasps> now that's done, I'm going to be taking from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking Venetian. Venetian? That one, Venetian Red with Burnt Orange. I'm just going to go straight in with the Venetian Red colour. And I'm going to put it on the outer area of my eye and in towards the crease, but I'm not going to put it all over. Now from the Violet Voss palette, 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 I'm using Wine and Dine, which is like a darker version of Venetrine Red. Oh my god, my eye is stinging. Oh, don't water. Oh my god, it's water. Isn't it just the worst when you're putting on your eyelashes and then your eyes start to water and it's literally game over, you have to start all over again? By the way, I'm sorry about all my brushes being dirty. I just didn't wash them. So now I'm going in with Teddy Bear from the Violet Foss palette. Dark, but I promise, no, really, really vibrant, but I promise in person it isn't. That was really posh as well. Now we are going on to the fun part, the glitter. I'm using both NYX products for the glue. I'm using the glitter primer and this glitter pigment by NYX, which is like a nice silvery, pinky colour. 
and it's the pigment 20. So now I'm just going to be putting some of the glitter into the lid. This is really hard for some reason, I don't know why. There we go, so I'm, li I'm just going to do this exactly on the other eye and I'll be right back. So this is the finished eyes, I went ahead and added eyeliner and lashes as well off of camera. The lashes that I'm wearing are the Unicorn Lashes in I believe Rebel Smoke. They're just really nice, wispy, long, fluttery lashes and I'm absolutely in love with them. And for the lips, I'm going to be using Kylie Jenner's Lip Kit in Posey K. Honestly, I don't think that there could be a better colour than this that matches this eye look. It's actually crazy, like, how much it all matches well. And this is the finished look, so I hope that you all enjoyed this video, I had so, honestly so much fun making it and I hope to do a lot more videos, obviously I'm obviously not a professional makeup artist, like if I was that would be amazing but I'm not and this is just how I've decided to do my makeup for my prom. I did vlog the day of my prom so if you want to go check that out I will leave a link to it down below in the description box and obviously don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see all of you very very soon. Thank you for watching, bye!